Hey, hello everyone. How are we all doing today? My name still remains Okwe Uluwa Oni. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. So basically today's video, I'm doing them from my car. So I have some couple of videos that you'll be seeing, uh, about two or three of them that we're doing from my car. And I hope um, uh, they'll make a lot of sense. They will help you to achieve one or two things and, uh, in terms of creating wealth, building your wealth through real estate, retaining your wealth through real estate. That basically and um, all, all that we do on this um, channel or whatever platform that you're going to be watching this from. So, Kim, um, I've been doing a series on leverage, 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 leverage. So, today we'll be talking about leverage, building communities, leverage, building communities. And communities are very, very, very important. And um, uh, in this age and time, community is more or less like the new form of marketing um, out there. So, um, as a brand, as an individual, as somebody that wants to keep um, selling, whether you, you want to keep selling real estate, you want to keep selling whatever that you are doing, you need to pay attention to building your own community. So basically, your community are the set of people that believe in you, trust you within your circle of influence. Uh, in some cases, most of them know you, but most likely you don't even know them in person, but you know them, right? Maybe by you sending them mails, by them following you on social media and all of those things. So these, these are basically your community. These are the community of people that know you, like you, and trust you. You remember there's a model that we call the KLT model. People that know you, like you, and trust you. People that know you, like you, and trust you. Okay? So that's the KLT model. And uh, for you to continually sell, you need to have thousands of people or multitudes of people that know you that like you and trust you that makes your marketing very 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 easy you know uh in marketing there's something that we usually say that um, you can always take uh you can always take a new product right into a, an old market or a new market or you bring an old product to a new um to, you bring a new product to an old market or you bring an old product to a new market or you take a uh, I, I think i'm mixing it up okay basically you can have new products you can have new markets and you, at the same time you can have old products you can have old markets so you just intertwine it okay so your old product just take it to a new market these are people that don't know about this old product at all right because is an old product to you but to them is basically new they're just getting to know about it they're just getting to hear about it right so that's that's uh it's one when it comes to uh your marketing distribution right so the other part is basically the same uh new product that you just created to the same set of people that have probably bought from you and seen your product have enjoyed your services one way or the other and you build goodwill with them uh, they love you, they like you, they trust you, you take it to them. So that is those are some of the advantages of having communities. And I strongly believe that the larger your community, uh, the more blessed you are as a person. Because number one, uh, influence is one of the newest currency that we, we, we spend these days. So that people that uh, your discussion, your talk, your uh, your commentaries, your, 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 that's why we hear the word influencers, social media influencers, regular media influencers, and all of those things. That's the reason why these guys are so, 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 so powerful this age and time. Influencing is the new currency, <clears throat> right? So how well are you influencing the people within your, within your sphere? So people always, um, uh, will always follow those that they love, those that they trust, and those that they like so how do you make people know you like you and trust you so that's really the power of influencing that's basically the power of influencing how do you make these people know you like you and trust you so in building community um whether we like it or not there are people we are influencing consciously or unconsciously but so building communities is all about deliberately building um, followership people that like you people that love you people that trust you is being deliberate about them right about it so there are so many platforms that you can build community on and uh, i always encourage that if you really want to be deliberate about these things uh, build the community 
as i mean as many as possible on all your platform right on all your platform but you can you should have where you aggregate all of them so for instance now uh, facebook is a platform you can use to build community very well instagram is a platform you can use to build community all the social media rather are a platform you can use to build community very well but if you if you play in the knowledge economy take your youtube very very serious because that's one of the areas i i, I play in. however at the same time that you are doing all of these things you need to aggregate all these people in your mailing list in your uh, broadcast list in your whatsapp list in your sms list you need to have these people there reason is that all these platforms can change policy right but if you already have the information of the people that are following you in one form or the other that is not that you you, you have some measure of control over it will help a great deal so how do you um, um create this community so like i said if you are just starting out or whatever stage you have use all platform use all platform because you need to really be deliberate about it okay so, um, there's a saying that um, for every um, for every number of people in your community they're supposed to be giving you a dollar every month if you build your community very very well and they know like and trust you okay so take for instance you you have a community of a million people so what it means is that a strong community of a million people that are not just followers i mean community not just followers because there are two different things right so you can have there are people that follow you that they are just following you so that they can copy you right so the fact that some people follow you on social media is they are not really a member of your community so we, let's let's basically define community community are people that like you trust you and these are people that are ready to call for a meeting they show up those are the people in your community so if you can build a million of such people the, um, there's a statistics or a theory that says that those one million people are supposed to give you a, each of them are supposed to give you a dollar every month by virtue of probably subscription what you sell to them and what they subscribe to right by this virtual of solution that you provide to them by monetizing that community in one way or the other okay so leaving that so how do you build this community so depending on who you are what you play i'm going to use the knowledge economy uh the knowledge business uh, very simple and straightforward uh way to 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 do this example so for me number one is um and okay before we even go into this you need to know the importance because see there's limit to even god eh? if god won't bless you there's limit to the amount of blessing god can how, how much god can bestow a blessing on you if you don't have enough people around i mean i've shared this story over and over and over again it's, it's from the bible i'm a christian so sometimes i refer to the bible and uh this is the story of the woman the widow that was in debt and i said see number one reason why she the husband died in debt is because in the first place there is no the community that they belong to the couple belong to so it's even a poor community they are all in debt okay and i have this theory to prove it if not because they are all in debt how come the prophet told her to go and borrow empty vessel and all of them have empty vessel they are not selling vessel for goodness sake how come you have empty vessel it's just like now there's yes, first scarcity you are broke an angel appeared to you a prophet appeared to you and said i see um fuel scarcity there's fuel scarcity but don't worry go and borrow as many jerry can as possible obviously you'll be able to borrow jerry can from the people that don't have fuel inside their jerry can <laughs> that's basically what that story is all about right so the community they belong to in one way or the other is a poor community too but one thing is even though they're a poor community but they're a willing community because they were even able to borrow uh, the empty jerry card right because it's possible for you to to even build be, be in a community look at david for instance right david at some point she was he was a destitute and he was surrounded himself with vagabonds right people that were in debt people that were runaways those were the people that david could surround himself with right talking about david in the bible so that was a state in his life and david was able to build that community build that community to become one of the what the biggest and the best community ever and at some point these guys were the mighty men of david they were the mighty men of david so how was david able to build this community to become the mighty men of david so you need to constantly be looking forward to how you can continually build your community so building your community is the jackpot for the future so how do you really do this number one is that 
you need a place of aggregation. I think I've mentioned that. How do you aggregate these people? So if you need a place of aggregator, you sorted it out. Maybe you want to build them on Telegram or WhatsApp, uh, mailing list and all of those things. And what determines the choice or choices of location you want to aggregate them is the kind of people that you are sent to or the kind of people you want to gather. Okay? So their level of income, they are where they are. Where, where, where they get their information and all of those things are going to be very 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 important so and ultimately what you want to sell to them so is always going to be very very important even though what you want to sell to them um is is the easiest part but gathering them into a community gathering them into a support group is very 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 important so number one is that you need to create your own niche people don't follow people people follow vision so there must be a vision why those people will gather around you so there must be a sugar for an ant to gather so there must be a sweet thing for an ant to gather so that's that's your that's your own niche so what is the niche point what do you want to be known for do you want to be known for uh, uh, uh controversy do you want to be known for ruggedity do you want to be known for a lot of things look at our musicians for instance you know the whiskey fans the the, the, the video fan so these are more or less like unstructured community but they are out there Mm -hmm. and the owners of this community know that yes these guys are not structured they need to just state I, I don't think they do send emails to all these community members for instance okay so these are football fans these are, so so some people are even registered to be a football fan so it depends it depends on the structure you want to say because i i can't really give it um uh, because I, I understand that a whole lot of people are watching and different people from different spheres, spheres are watching just the, the only thing is this you need to just pay attention to your surroundings and see who are the people that have built community successfully and pay attention to it. Churches are community. How do churches, the largest congregation people, uh, or church, reach out to their people? So they use the cell system, okay? You want to use the cell system, okay? So, so these are systems and structures that are already out there that you can just borrow a leaf from or copy. Just use, let me just use the word. You can just copy. So, so building community is very, very powerful. So number one, you need to create your own niche. Number two is that you need to now begin to roll out the message. Roll out the message. That's what will keep them, right? Your niche will attract them. The message and the programs and the, uh, the solutions you carry will, 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 uh, um, will keep them. And what will keep them interacting is let them be engaged. Engagement is what we, uh, we, we make the community grow. Engagement. People will not want to leave, right? Yes, people will not want to leave. People will be looking forward to it. People will have addiction, will be addicted to it. Somebody said that you want to create a godlike following. You need to create a court-like uh, um, system around yourself. So, for you to create a godlike following, you need to create a court-like system around yourself. So, let people be looking for ah, how I wish. Let's say, for instance, now, ah, how I wish I can join this AYZ. Uh, community right now. I mean, I mean, look at all the people in that community. They are getting results. They are so addictive to it. They are this. They are that. You need to have taglines. All those things are very, very important. Of course, this video, if I begin to take it niche by niche, niche by niche in building community, maybe some other time I'll just do a series on building community and all of that. But <clears throat> I just needed to bring this out there in terms of building community. It's very, very important. It's the future of marketing. It will help you a whole lot. Is even that in fact when you start building communities on social media your social media following and engagement is going to grow i um, mean astronomically okay so lastly one of the things you have need to have at the back of your mind before you start selling to them is you need to serve them that's where i'm going to be drawing the curtain you need to serve them because if you don't serve them they will leave you oh uh, if you don't serve them they won't follow you right if you don't serve them uh, you will not get that godlike followership, right? So that is very, very, very important. Okay. So I believe this has helped you. The purpose and the objective of this video is actually to just open your mind to the possibilities of community. Okay. So my name still remains Okwe Uluwa. You don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel and drop your comment in case you have any question or any further interaction that you would like us to have. So okay. Bye for now and. Go and play big.